I think um, I, as I have gone further and further in building fusion systems that work, um, I've become more optimistic around the Fermi paradox specifically. And there's there is the uh, there's several of them. The, I think you're referring to something called the Great Filter. It's, something happens that filters out life. Um, the Dark Forest is another philosophy around. Sure, it's out there, but everybody's hiding because they want, don't want to be noticed. But I think about something else, actually. Uh, the philosophy that I've always loved, and I'm going to pronounce this wrong, so I apologize, uh, Matryoshka brains, mm -hmm. is that, and that's Kardashev level two, that civilizations get so advanced and they focus not on expanding physically and expanding in space and expanding their reach by planting flags in new places, but grow their cognition, grow their ability to think, they grow their brain, they grow their intellect. Um, and I, I feel like in the last few years, we've seen a massive trend that maybe this is the thing that happens and that we do grow our intellect and we grow the, the intellect of the species by AI and advanced tools and, and as a society can just get smart enough that we don't need to go plant those flags everywhere. And so the Matryoshka brain is uh, a Dyson sphere where a civilization has covered the entire sun in essentially solar panels or collects its light in some way and uses all of that power to power intelligence, to power computers and to power brains. And I think we're away from that, a ways away from that, but maybe AI and fusion together gets you actually along that path sooner. And, uh, I'm I'm excited by that outcome of the Fermi paradox, and then at that point, those civilizations have a a star that you can't find anymore because it's all covered, and are there thinking and growing their intellects rather than actually having to physically expand.